most accurate local forecast starts now with meteorologist Dan Tomaso. Today feels like we're back into the swing of things in terms of spring weather. Highs officially coming in at 63. Our normal high should be close to 60. So we're right on par after a very cool and damp week. This is a nice way to cap off this weekend. Temperatures currently still 64 in Carlisle, 63 in Chambersburg. After highs today, about 64 to 66 degrees. And there is all that sunshine. Plus, if you've noticed any of the river routes or maybe even your local creeks and streams driving along, you can see that the water levels have certainly receded in a big way. So we dodged a bullet there. We obviously had a lot of rain last week, but the river was able to hold just below flood stage and many of our creeks and streams only got away with minor flooding at the end of the day, but visible satellite picture shows we're high and dry through tonight. It's this area of cloud cover that's over parts of Wisconsin through Indiana, Ohio that we're watching come closer to the mid state because unfortunately it's right in that window of time that the solar eclipse will be happening. So taking a look at our hourly forecast through tonight, temperatures I believe at their coldest, maybe about 36, 35 degrees, but most of us Hug closer to 40 degrees. Light winds overnight should prevent any type of frost threat, but let's break it down tomorrow in terms of cloud cover. I know that's the important part of the forecast that maybe you've tuned in for and getting excited about the eclipse. Nothing wrong with that. Something that doesn't happen every day, that is for sure. And next time we'll see this is in the 2070s. So certainly as we're watching some clouds during the morning, that may give some people pause. But if you're looking around lunchtime, I think what we'll see is some broken cloud cover. Certainly some areas will be cloudier than others, as is typical on any given day. But by 2, 3 o'clock, the models have shown some openings in those clouds. And I do think that is very possible here across the region. That's 2.30 through about 3.30, 4 o'clock, pretty much the same picture. So depending on where you are, this model suggests a little bit more in the way of cloud cover over the western mountains, a little bit more clearing into the valleys. That certainly would be a good scenario across much of the region. But again, some of our western counties may miss out on the best view. Those clouds continue then overnight into Tuesday, and then Tuesday itself, there is a little bit more clearing before we get another round of showers late Tuesday into early Wednesday morning. Now, the heaviest rain will wait till later in the week, but here's your eclipse forecast. Again, that window from about 2 to 3 o'clock, broken cloud cover. If you kind of want to be out during the peak of all this, Think about 315 to 325, depending on where you are across the region. Again, it varies place to place, the exact maximum that you'll see locally. But you look at our seven day forecast tomorrow's high 64, Tuesday in advance of the next area of rain 72. Our next chance of steady, if not heavy rain, will be Thursday into Friday before even next weekend, too, showing promise of low to mid 60s. Jared, over to you.